So Aikido versus kickboxing. Ed is a coach in kickboxing. Yep. I am an instructor in Aikido. So it's instructor versus instructor. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, he <laughs> and right. so uh, he doesn't know a lot of the throws and, and the joint stuff I'm going to do. So I'm just going to try to pull it off in combat to have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to air this regardless whether it works or not. <laughs> I think that's important. That's like, important. Yeah, you'll see if it works or not. Yeah. And then, I get to look cool or fall. Yeah. And there's going to be some that I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pull off. And there's going to be some that I'm going to struggle with. I haven't done this. I'll be honest. I haven't done randori in Aikido setting in probably almost a decade. Oh, wow. So it's been a hot minute since we've done this. Okay. So I will try not to hurt you. I do my best. Um, I didn't wear gloves. I was supposed to wear my MMA gloves, but I didn't wear gloves just so I can actually, I'm not going to be hitting him. I'm just going to be trying to pull off stuff. If I had my gloves, I would do a little bit of kickboxing back, um, but I want to kind of go more defensive because Aikido is supposed to be a defensive art. Can you ready? Oh, oh, you can oh. kick me. Okay, good. All right. So I'm wearing my mouthpiece because I'm a responsible kickboxing coach. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, so let's look at what we're trying to do here. So right out the gate, of course, uh, I'm trying to try to feel him out a little bit. And I got to, of course, defend. I got a hold of his head, and that was my uh, Kaitanage. Right here, we had a, a mic fall off, so I had to fix that really quick. And of course, Ed's throwing some punches. And again, as I was saying, and one of the earlier things is the uh, Sankyo was my favorite technique, and usually I pull that off and maybe Kodagashi. But I wasn't able to do that today, and so this wasn't really anything. I kind of just pulled him down. Uh, he fell forward, kind of snapped down, but you know, whatever. Um, again, playing the defense. I got nothing for these kicks, though, so I definitely know when I work this some more in the future, especially if I'm going to try this against uh, Icy Mike, I'm going to have to have that. There's another Kaitanage, and so Kaitanage is rotary throw, and I'm turning out as I do it, so I'm working my Tenkons at the same time, playing defense. Again, I don't really have a good response for these low kicks. Uh, I can't even think of anything that I've learned in Aikido that handles those low kicks other than just moving out of the way. <clears throat> Playing the defense game. I've got a couple so far though. He threw that, that rear punch and I, I should have did something with it, but I, I was really thinking about that, that Sankyo that I wanted to pull off. And so I'm playing my defense game like always. <clears throat> of course we're having a little bit of fun. Do that punch. <laughs> I should I should have went for it, but I didn't. So my timing is definitely off. I noticed that when I'm playing this game. Working my defense some more. Got a hold of the head, but I already did Kaitanage a couple times, so I want to try to figure out something new. So Yoshido Ate is a fun one. I'm gonna try that here in a minute, but I totally uh, I totally am doing a C lot version instead of the Aikido uh, version. And using my my length to kind of control that there's there's my kodagashi attempt <laughs> he falls down of course as you fall down and get up a bunch of times you start getting tired and so he's i think he's gassing out a little bit he's just falling down getting up getting up getting up and so again he gets that kick on me i can't i can't do anything with it like I was saying in, in the intro, and like I've said in a couple other videos, for Aikido to work, you have to have that that kind of that committed attack, which is where I think in the world of self-defense, it definitely can work better um, against somebody who doesn't really know what you're gonna do, and they just kind of go for it. There's me with that distraction, you know, where I was talking about, like, if you can kind of smack them around a little bit and throw them off. Here I'm working my Kamai. I have that left hand elbow injury, so that's really hard for me to, to use my left arm lately, I kind of feel that. And again, another Kaitanage. So Kaitanage is the move that I'm working the most today. Of course, I'm in my right lead again, my Mickey Kamai. And he's throwing that, and I'm parrying. I keep my head out of the way so I don't get hit. Uh, Ed's a, I think it's, Ed's a better kickboxer than I am. He does kickboxing on a more regular basis, and he's also done a couple kickboxing tournaments. So there's, there's my attempt to grab a wrist, which like I told you guys, you can't grab an initial wrist. So, you know, I didn't expect that to work. I'm just trying to mess him a little bit. And there we go. Commit to it. It's more of a judo throw. Still kind of works. Uh, big leg sweep is what we call it in Aikido. Or Osoto Bare. Big leg sweep. Again, trying to mess with his, his posture. Mess with his, his uh, range a little bit. Nothing again for that kick. It was like the fourth time he's kicked me and I got I got no response. Couldn't get him. There's my elbow kind of mess with me a little bit. Could grab. 
So we're having some fun, feeling it out. I'm gonna try to get a Kodagashi here in a second. Kodagashi, the wrist turnout, and his glove comes off. Uh, MMA gloves are a little bit easier to do some of this with than boxing gloves. <laughs> here it is, there's it comes off. Get that egg. So while he's fixing his glove, my traditional go-to is Sankyo. Um, I haven't been able to even attempt to one of them. It's more of the sweep. Having not done this in a long time, I can definitely see my timing is off. And there we go, got one. This was supposed to be Yushido Ate, which should be up on the collar or the neck. And uh, I did the hips, which is more of a sea lot technique. I kind of laugh about it. He laughs at it too, because he doesn't like sea lot that much. That was my attempt at a little bit of destruction as I apply this. One of our uh, core pieces when we do our Aikido for our combative Aikido is destruction, distraction, te technique application. And so, you know, throwing some of that uh, sea lot stuff in there. There again, Kaiknage, same move. <laughs> that acting funny. <clears throat> you can see the last little bit of that in the, uh, the bloopers reel at the end if you want. Uh, missed that timing on that grab. There are a couple kicks, played the defense. Okay, we're having a good time. Oh, gotta hold that wrist again, but can't do nothing with it. So I have to definitely change up my game moving on if my elbow doesn't improve. It's been a couple months now since my elbow's been injured, so I have to worry about that. But that's also what's fun about this, is you kind of realize new things that are off. There's your Shido Ate. I got one. That was what I wanted earlier. <laughs> oh, well, some work. Yeah, I think we proved some moves do work. I know he wasn't trying to actively kill me. Uh, but I was trying to hit you though. Yeah. Like, don't don't be mistaken. I was trying to hit him, <laughs> and he did good. Like, uh, he did very well, not letting me actually like hit him. Yeah. And I was trying. I know because I, I knew what was going on. I didn't want to be like super overcommitted on yeah ki uh, punches, but I definitely didn't want any kicks caught. Yeah. My back's been a little tweaked, so I didn't want to like ah! and then throw my back out. But. And still, every time good. I went left lead, every time yeah. I went Hidari Kamai, yeah. I could feel it in my arm. I was you like, feel... I tried to grab him, like, oh, yeah. I can't grab. So I, think... I had to stay in Miki Kamai. Um, and, and I think that's important to like test this every five or so years, yeah. to like, because your body changes uh, to where oh, I like when I was younger, I would be throwing higher kicks yeah. and I wouldn't care. But now I've gotten older, it's like, and, and now I know certain things, like especially my kickboxing, don't work as well. Yeah. So same probably with your Aikido. Because I mean, it, it, I could just. Right. And, and then, I did a lot of that, but I didn't like, I could just do that the whole time and he'd never get anything. And you can't Aikido, you can't Aikido somebody just, oh, oh, yeah, oh, just story. Them. I don't think Aikido is Bushido. Yeah. And the reason why is, why are you doing it? Yeah. Like we talked about the Kali thing, we talked about the Sila thing. If you're doing it maybe to, to just be off the couch and to get your flexibility back, yeah. you know, whatever, then it's not. Sure. Garbage. No. It's doing its purpose, getting you out and moving meeting people, having fun, Yeah, you're doing something, and there is some self-defense elements to it, as I've said in a couple other videos, but it just takes a little bit longer, I think, for the self-defense aspect to come in. I wholeheartedly believe, though, it's all about what the instructor brings to the table. Sure. If your instructor is like, only like this, and they're gonna come at you like this, yeah, that's crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but there is a time and place for that. And I think that's what's missing. Mm, okay. I think people get caught in that. Inosanto breaks it down. I don't know if it's a thing that uh, C. Joe Bruce did, but he talks about when we would learn trapping, mm -hmm. when we learn certain techniques. It's like when a kid has that fancy paper to do the letters. Yes. And then eventually you don't need that fancy paper. Yeah, you, you go away from it. In you the beginning, write. you need this lazy yeah, move hear. so you can do the cool stuff. Yeah. And then eventually you figure out how to pull it off in what we're doing today. Yeah. You know, because you, you have two main forms of Aikido that you've talked about on my on my channel. You have the combat and traditional. And traditional. And the combat is kind of where you're actually like kickboxing and trying to yes. what we basically just did. Yep. And then you have the more traditional, which is there. Yes. So I I think again, like you said, if you're training for the purpose of moving, cool. Cultural preservation because you like it, yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. But like you know, if you're, you can't be delusional and say, this is how self-defense works. This is the only thing that works for right. that or that. And I think people get so caught up on that and they get so lost in the, is this bullshito and is not, they forget that it's supposed to be fun. Yeah. And if you're having fun, like, how are you to say their fun is wrong? Right. <laughs> right. Like, I'm not you. If you yeah. like, you love C-Lot. Yeah. 
I, I have fun with it. Yeah, and he has fun with it. I don't. And it's not because it's not, I don't see validity. It's not because I don't think the moves are cool. It just hurts. <laughs> and like a lot of it just like, oh, this is just mean. And I, I'm, I can be mean, but I'm just like, that's not my cup of tea right now. Yeah. That doesn't mean in 10 years when I'm a little older and slower, I may be like, you know, what, let me do some more sea lock because I can be meaner yeah. as I have to be. And, and right now I can rely more on athleticism, even though it's whatever. So I, I think everyone's cup of tea is a little bit different. But that's also what makes the world the world. Yeah. I wanted to kind of test this because, again, he's JKD and a kickboxer. And so it's a chance to try this on somebody who doesn't willingly go, you know, here you go, and then flip out. Like, yeah. That's the idea. And if you do this enough, if you do this once a week or a couple times a week, you're going to find more and more moves. Yeah. And even myself, I would get more in tune with my timing and my yeah. rhythm and, oh, seeing when things are going to happen, you'll get mm -hmm. better. Uh, I think a great example, again, would be Ron with the sarong. Yeah. Guru Dan made him do Thai boxing class with the sarong. Yeah. He's like, I got my butt kicked for about a month. And then he started finding rhythms. And it's the same. Mm -hmm. You know, if you work at it, and if you watch his sarong stuff, it's cool. Well, cool. Thanks, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, you made it to the end of the video. You know what to do. Hit that like button, of course. Hit the like button if you like Ed's muscles. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay, cool. You're... Oh, he's going to do the... I've been working on it, guys. Is this the thing? Oh! Oh God, I'm gonna die. Oh. <laughs> you didn't die. Did you die? I didn't. You didn't die. <laughs> no. uh, cool. If you made it in the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, give Ed a subscribe for the trying to do the push up thing that he just did. Yeah. And finally, hit that bell icon, a ding ding. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked. <laughs> Go ahead and finish your speech. Yeah, and that's all we got. Bye, Ed. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? Well, it's so we can fit in the frame. <laughs> and also, I'm stretching. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what are you doing? Angle. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, camera. Okay. Okay.